Hello friends, welcome to wi fi study.com, one stop destination for all competitive exam presents PSLV C37. So friends, ISRO has just launched the PSLV C37 and it made a record of highest number of satellites to launch in a single flight. So friends, let's talk about some details content of the PSLV C37. So this is very important for your upcoming exam too and for your knowledge too. Okay, so I'm not talking about the ISRO in this video because I, I will tell you some the more details about the ISRO in a different video. But right now I'm talking about the PSLV C37. Okay, so what is this PSLV C37? It is a mission of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle Program which is set to carry 104 satellites. Okay, 104 satellites together and it was launched today around 9.28 am into the sun synchronous orbit about 500 km above the earth. Okay, so SSO that is sun synchronous orbit about 500 km above the earth and it was launched by the ISRO from the Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh. Okay, and it is 39th flight of the PSLV which is the world most accurate and the cheapest uh, launch vehicle okay and upon successful completion of the mission it will break the earlier record of launching 37 satellites okay it will break the record of launching 37 satellites by a Russian rocket on 19 June 2014 and of 29 satellite launched by the NASA on 19 November 2013. Okay, and the, nearly the half of the costs will be recovered by the foreign satellites set by the Kiran Kumar. So Kiran Kumar is the chairperson of the ISRO right now and you need to remember this name. Okay, and half of the costs will be recovered by the foreign satellites Okay, that we are put into our launch vehicle. So friends, previous launch, let's see about the previous launch, PS, PSLV C-37 was set to launch in January 2017 with 83 satellites but with an addition of the 20 more satellites to the payload, the schedule was changed to 15th Feb 2017. So previously there was 83 satellites but after the addition of the 20 more satellites, the schedule was rearranged and changed to 15th Feb 2017. Okay. So let's talk about the payload. The rocket will launch 104 satellites of which three are Indians. Okay, so there are three satellites from the Indian that is Cartosat 2D, INS-1A and INS-1B and 88 from the USA and the rest from the Germany, Israel, Kazakhstan, the Netherlands, Switzerland and the UAE that is United Arab Emirates. Okay, so there are 88 satellites from the US and these 88 satellites are the CubeSats. Okay that will observe the earth every day and the nearly the weight of this is of nearby 5 kg okay the, the weight of the cubesats are of nearby 5 kg and three indian satellites that is cartosat 2d ins 1a and ins 1b first of all friends you need to understand this why the why the us or the other countries give so, so much of money to the india to launch this vehicle they have a technology they have everything why they are preferring the pslv okay so this is the important thing that you need to remember firstly friends you need to know about the anthrax anthrax is the commercial arm of the isro which provide launch service much cheaper than their competitors for example us based spacex france in space simply cannot compete with the prices that we offered by the ISRO. In fact, ISRO provides satellite service at such a low cost that the American private industry is threatened by the ISRO. For example, let's see for a few examples. That is Falcon 9. It has a launching cost of nearby 400 crore. Russian Proton, it has a uh, launching cost of nearby 500 crore. Chinese Long March, uh, European Aran 5 and American Atlas have a cost of nearby 7000 crore and and R that is PSLV just have a launching cost just has a launching cost of 100 crore that's it okay 100 crore in 100 crore they launch a satellite so that that is why these are country these countries are looking forward to the India and uh, ISRO is providing them their service okay so India is launching three satellites by this launch vehicle that is Cartosat 2D, INS-1A and INS-1B. Okay, so what is this Cartosat? This is also important that the toughest question that can be framed from this part of the story is that what is a Cartosat 2D? Okay, so what is a Cartosat? It is a fifth earth observation satellite in the Cartosat series. Okay, the satellite will be used for providing remote sensing services and it is equipped with the panchromatic and the multispectral image sensors. The images will be used for the cartographic application such as urban and the rural planning, monitoring of the coastal land use, road network monitoring, water distribution. Okay, Th these are the different uses which is provided by the Cartosat 2D. And the operational period of the satellite is nearby 5 years. Okay, the 5 year is the operational period. And the weight of this satellite is 650 kg. After that, INS-1A. 
This is the ISRO nano satellite used for the future experiment student satellites and technology demonstration payloads and it will also study the effects of the high energy space radiation on a commercial of the shelf into the electronic components okay so what is the effects on the electronic components by the radiations that will be said by the ins 1a and the weight of this satellite is nearby 8.4 kg okay and the uh, what is for ins 1b and it has a it is equipped with a origami camera with a lens assembly that will take high resolution images of the earth okay using a small package so this will provide a high resolution images that will be helpful for the future okay and the weight of this satellite is nearby 9.7 kg and the total operational period of this satellite is nearby one year that is a six month this one and six month this one okay other foreign satellites would include so total contribution to approximately 820 kg make the total payload of approximately 1500 kg okay so the total payload of this satellite is 1500 kg 1500 kg out of which only the 650 kg satellite is of cartosat 2dc okay so the 88 satellites of the us are cubesats weighing around 5 kg each will separate from the rocket in different directions to avoid collision okay and the total mass of the rocket is 3 lakh and 20 thousand kg and there there are some views from the different persons also like the former chairperson of isro criticized the planned program calling it a nothing new as within the 15 kg capacity you can carry as many satellites as possible and he criticized isro for not focusing on manned mission and other technological advancement okay so madhavan nair is a was a former chairperson of the isro and he criticized the isro for not focusing on the manned mission and the technological advancement okay so he said that in 1500 kg payload you can carry as much as satellite you want and you don't need to say as it is a record or something else but the r and what right now the current chairperson that is kiran kumar also said that we are not working for the records we are only working to enhance our capability okay so this is a record but still they are not focusing on the record they are focusing on the enhancing the capacity of our launch vehicle okay friends and after that there is a space race which is going on right now because india is also working on unified launch vehicles that is uvl india is also working on unified launch vehicles which will eventually replace the gslv and a pslv and the unified launch which launch vehicle will have the capacity of nearby 15000 kg payload okay into the low earth orbit so this pslv is known for the launching the small number of small satellites into the low earth orbit and this is one of the cheapest and the accurate launch vehicle of the world okay and america are also building the next generation launch vehicle elon musk if you heard that this name that is elon musk he is a owner of the spacex and the jeff bezos owned blue origin is also working on a new launch vehicles which have a which will have a capacity of around 50,000 50,000 kg payload cap okay so india is working on 15,000 and they are working on 50,000 kg payload and nasa is also working on th all these things as nasa is working on space launch system that can potentially put into the low earth orbit as much as 1 lakh kg in a single launch okay so nasa is working on long launch vehicle which will have a 1 lakh kg payload capacity into a single launch okay so uh, these are the technological advancement which are going around the world right now and isro is looking forward for the uvl so friends this information is important for you and hope you will like it and you will subscribe us so that friends so friends thank you and all the best